Usually when you do analytics, um, a big part of your query is actually scanning not that much data, but you need to scan much data to figure out which rows belong to the query. And if you're looking, yeah, usually using um, paper scan uh, uh, products that charge you for the amount of scan you need to do to answer a query, that's when you, you, you really see that. Well, because you might run a simple query that has a where predicate in it for ones, and ones are 1% 1 of the data. It will need to scan the whole column and basically download tons of files just to figure out that you need 1% of the data. And when we say download, we mean copy it from S3 to the local exactly. storage computer. Exactly. So you basically the copy the data from S3 to your local storage. And many, in many cases, this is, ends up as spilling and you end up choking your cache. And that's when the vendor says, you need to increase your compute, which has nothing to do with compute. It has to do with the fact that if a file or a micro partition or a partition is your smallest unit, then you just fill the cache with unnecessary data, unneeded data, uh, irrelevant data, noisy data that will never be used for querying. But it's there because it's within the same file and this is compressed. So what does Firebolt download? So we don't want to download files. Uh, our granular unit is a range. A range, let's open the file. This is our, let's say, this is, this is our file opened. A range is basically saying, select F1 from T1, where, let's do a count, where F1 equals one. Let's take that simple, oversimplistic uh, uh, SQL. So what Firewall does is, it basically runs two queries. The first query, and this is all hidden from the user, but the first query runs against the index. It's the same SQL, it's a query engine, it goes through kind of the whole set of steps, but then instead of running and getting data points back, we're getting ranges back. This is what we refer to sparse indexing. Sparse indexing means that if I'm having this predicate, Firebolt will tell me in those three triple F files, those would be the ranges of one. So I'm getting three ranges each one giving me a different offset with a starting point and an ending uh, uh, range. So, so you're copying ranges, which means smaller parts of the bigger files from S3 to the local cache. It can be one kilobyte, which is not good for S3, but it can be any size. It can be very small, it can be huge. It can be, it can be gigabytes. By the end of the day, we move much less data this way because the sparse indexing tells us only the right ranges. It's not just that you're moving much less data. Your, your cache will only keep the ranges. 